Hello, today's CLE is Top 10 Tips for Negotiating Child Support and Child Custody Agreements. My name is David Bedanes. You can find me or email me at david at dbnylaw.com. I am a New York State attorney, and everything I'm going to talk about today is about New York State law. You should, if you live in a different state, uh, please consult your local laws. So, let's get right into it. Basic Child Support Law. First, we're going to talk about the Child Support Standard Act, which you can find in DRL Section 240, or the Family, uh, Family, uh, Family Court Act at Section 213. Again, when we're talking about child support, it is based on the parental income. You have to calculate your combined gross parental income. Most clients, um, they're going to tell you their net income. You need to uh, find out what their gross income is. And again, you can uh, look at the citations that I'm going to have throughout this program. Uh, here we have Gravy versus Gravy, which is from the Court of Appeals, 87 New York 2nd, 605. Um, and Cassano versus Cassano, also a New York State uh, Court of Appeals case, 85 New York 2nd, 649. So uh, gross income includes uh, investment income, imputed income, which we'll talk about a, a little bit, and just about every other type of income that you can think of. Uh, they're really trying to include anything that you can think of. Um, and again, uh, we start with the gross income, and then from there we take some very limited deductions. Uh, you can take some business deductions. Uh, one of the biggest deductions you can take is a child support you are paying on behalf of another child uh, or other children. However, it has to be by a prior court order. Um, and so uh, that is one of the biggest deductions. And then another deduction, which is pretty much in every case, is the amount you're paying in Social Security tax and in Medicare tax. Um, and that's typically, depending on the person's income, is about 7.5%. Um, and the reason it changes is that the uh, deduction for Social Security cuts off at a certain amount. Um, and again, you want to look at the W-2 statement. Um, so, uh, again, you're looking at the gross income. You're first starting with the gross income as reported or should have been reported on the most recent federal income tax return. Um, and then uh, investment income, we talked about uh, some of the other incomes that is included, workers' comp, disability, unemployment insurance, Social Security benefits, veterans' benefits, pension and retirement benefits, any type of stipends or annuity. Again, you can see it really includes a lot of different in kind of income. And then um, we talked about statutory deductions from income. You can deduct the uh, Social Security and Medicare. It's approximately 7.625%, but again, you need to double check that. Um, you get to deduct only on amounts actually paid. Um, there's some citations there about that. For most W-2 employees, you want to look at what is uh, on the W-2 at box five. That's the Medicare wages, and that would include pretty much everything that the employee um, gets. And then you want to subtract the uh, total of the Social Security tax withheld and the uh, Medicare withheld. And again, you want to make sure you look at all the W-2s that the employee or your client has or the other side. So... That's the uh, f when you're looking at uh, deductions. Um, we already mentioned what's the most common deduction is child support for another child. But again, you must have the child support order in place for the other child or children. So here comes the first number, uh, uh, top 10 tip. Tip number one, even if there is no child support order in place, you still want to argue to the court that the other child slash children also need child support. So the court should take that into account. It may not always be a winner, but again, can't hurt to throw that in there to try it out. Um, so even if there is not a child support order already in place for some other children, you want to um, show the court that the person is paying child support, um, whether it's by order or otherwise, and that should be another deduction taken off. So that's tip number one. Income above the cap. If, there is, if the combined income of the two parties is above the cap, so what is the cap? 
Currently, it's $163,000. We'll talk about that, how that's uh, de uh, determined. Then the court has the deduction to um, apply the child support uh, uh, above the statutory um, numbers and using the factors. Uh, here are some citations you can uh, refer to. Um, 